Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've been very eager to get back to Ash Williams here by Asmus Toys and show you the potential of this piece, just how good it can look. Now obviously I've done a few little mods here and there, nothing too major, just a little bit of paint and blood, a bit of weathering, nothing too serious. I have swapped the head here on the actual Asmus body with a cheap head sculpt that I found on eBay. It's actually a recast and a repaint, like a copy of the Sideshow Collectibles Ash head which works fantastic on the actual Asmus Toys body. I think the proportions to this head and the body work a lot better here than the actual proportions of the Asmus Toys head, which is that one, on its actual body. So this body here was basically just junk, something that I've had lying around for many years and I wasn't using, but it just works perfectly with the Asmus Toys head and the clothing. I think the proportions look really good on that one. Now, it's cool because you've got the more heroic stepping into the role of the hero, realizing who he is, the Ash Williams from the end of Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness film. Uh, whereas here it's a bit more of the terrified, confused Ash, you know, before he stepped into that role. So it's really nice to have these two versions. And here is the possessed Ash head, which I did have on this setup with the axe but I just really like the way it looks now. But I'm excited to show you these pictures because I know it will affect quite a few decisions. A lot of people have been put off buying this figure. And I knew, you know, as I usually do, there's been plenty of instances in the past where a figure has been released and people take pictures of it and film it and talk about it and put everyone off it. And I see it and I think, yeah, I think there's, there's definitely some potential here. And I don't mind doing that. I know you shouldn't have to, and a lot of people don't like doing it when they're paying for a figure, but I don't mind going in with a paintbrush and just tweaking things a little bit to my liking. Giving this head sculpt the five o'clock shadow. Really, really helped. And also black washed and did a bit of weathering on that severed hand. But there's a lot of potential here, folks, and these pictures you're about to see are going to prove that along with the footage as well. I've got a nice background of the forest behind him and using the diorama from the deluxe version too. So just know, yeah, it's not a perfect figure. That's why I gave it a 7 out of 10 when I did the review spoilers. Um, but this is, I love this figure now, man. I'm so glad it's here with the rest of the horror icons. I hesitated for a long time because he's a hero rather than a villain and all these guys are villains. So having Ash, I thought would throw things off a little bit, but he really does belong here. And he looks incredible. So yes, the figure does have some QC issues. And when it was first released, the fact that Henrietta didn't have any hair, the fact that they misspelled the name, you know, it's all pretty bad. But honestly, I'm so glad I have this. And with these mods that I've done, it's a 10 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned now. Now that I've done what I've done and what I did wasn't much. Just needed to elevate the piece a little bit. So let me know what you think in the comments. Check out these pictures and you can see them on Instagram as well because I will put them on there once the video goes up. You can follow me there at Dean Knight Free Shoot Free. And I hope you enjoy it. Drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon. Enjoy the video. Now just one more thing before the video really starts folks. This is the Asmus shotgun. Obviously, once he's modded it and sawn off the, the actual barrel. Uh, this is just plastic. But, you know, recently I got the John Wayne caustic plastic figure to review. He came with a metal shotgun, which looks pretty much identical to how the gun looked before he modded it. But the longer barrel, when he was in this look with the cut off hand and the bandage. And he used to, you know, load the gun up and uh, balance it on his wrist. You know what I'm talking about. So it's so cool. You will see it in the video with the pictures coming up uh, with him in this look with the bandaged uh, wrist holding this gun. So that worked out really nicely. I mean, it's almost identical apart from, I think, these uh, the hammers or whatever you call them up here. But it's basically the unmodified gun from Evil Dead 2. So it's nice to have that it just worked out really nice let's stick that back there now that all these horror icons are here i'm gonna have to come up with something cool to show you guys soon and we'll have a big horror fest and go for all of these figures 
and have some fun. But thank you to everyone in the community who has contributed to this collection over the years. There's definitely one or, two, uh, one or two pieces that wouldn't be here if not for people in the community. So thank you so much for that. And thank you for making this collection as mighty as it is. All right. Pennywise is really stealing in the show. Look with the mods on the collar that I did. Look how much more movie accurate he looks. You can't see his neck at all. Just the way it should be. All right. Let's get down to business. Strap yourselves in and prepare to have your minds blown. 